Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing Transformers Spark Armor Starscream. But before we look at Starscream himself, let's look at the packaging. Some nice product shot of Spark Armor Starscream, which doesn't look half bad on the packaging. A product shot of the bot mode and the Spark Armor mode. Doesn't look half bad, and there are still others I haven't picked up, like Jetfire, or Prowl, or Skybite. And that's all there is to say for the packaging. Let's look at this jet mode itself. Pretty cool. Probably wondering, why did I add these guns to his jet mode? Because to me, Starscream always had his null rays. And these were random guns that were closest to null rays as possible, so I threw it in just for the fun of it. Take those off, and that's all there is to say for jet mode. Let's get down to transformation. Fold down the cone. Come on. And we're going to fold this up, if I can get it to fold up. And there we go. There's the backpack section. All done. Rotate the legs. And there we got Spark Armor Starscream in his robot mode. This is not a bad looking Starscream. Now for comparison. We'll bring in the only other Starscream I have from Transformers Cyberverse. And this is the original Starscream action figure I've had for a while. Second to transform him because he can be a bit of a pain. So yeah, he could be a bit of a pain to transform off camera. So give me a second to transform him. Then I'll show you off his jet mode compared to another Starscream. Here he is with the original Cyberverse Starscream, which I do have. Not a bad looking comparison, if I do say so myself. But now we're going to give him his Spark Armor. And his Spark Armor is a bulldozer, which doesn't look half bad, if I do say so myself. Now we're going to get down to combining it with him. Disconnect the treads. Disconnect the uh, shovel part. Connect this to his head. The two posts on his top of his body. If I can get it to connect. And now connect these to his wing section, which I like to connect these to the wing section and the leg section. They just don't do it for me on the leg section, but I'll show you what it looks like on the leg section. It's just not my favorite to add to the leg section though. But there's what the spark armor looks like on the leg section. Doesn't look too bad, but I'm going to display it on the wing section for holding them up here because I'm going to make a coronation cape for this guy. And these pieces will be essential to making that coronation cape a possibility to make coronation star scream. And we can put the bulldozer piece in his hand. And there we got star scream in his spark armor robot mode. Doesn't look half bad. Does it? And of course, compare it with Starscream. Why not? Good one. Good one. But how I'm going to display this with the bulldozer bits. I'm going to disconnect this. 
and I dropped it apparently. Give me a second to retrieve it. Having the Butterfinger moments today on this Easter day. And I'm probably going to display him with the null rays on his arm like this. And that's how I'm going to display him in my Transformers Season 3 collection until I can add the cape. Come on, I, I even had the, uh, this part to here to hold on to it, the other part of the bulldozer section. But there we got my Starscream all spark armored up and null rayed up. And that's how I'm going to display him on my shelf. If you like this video, make sure to like, make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And you're probably wondering, where did I get this star screen? Well, I got him from Amazon, I think, for about nine bucks. Is he worth adding to your collection if you're a star screen fan? Yes, he's worth it. Pick him up for your star screen collection if you don't have this guy. I highly recommend him. He is fun to mess around with and fun to just fiddle with. That's all there is to say for this video. Happy Easter and this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.